Please share the detail of your expansion. We are uh, planning to upgrade our existing PM1 in which we will increase the capacity by around 25%. So it is not expansion but a rebuild. So in this we are also trying to improve our product basket. Earlier we were doing till 150 GSM. So with this we will reach 170, 180 GSM as well. So we will be entering into a new segment. And uh, we are in the negotiation stages. We have uh, shortlisted the suppliers. And now I think within the next 30 days or so, we are going to sign off the agreements and then the ordering will start. So what is the size of investment which is involved in this expansion? So total uh, investment which is involved is around 200 crores. Uh, actually, this is such a big, it's a small uh, a rebuild so today you know investments have gone so high uh, you know paper industry is a very capital intensive industry but it's fine because with time you have to upgrade and uh, now another aspect is we are highly uh, investing in the sustainability because today uh, we are going through a phase where in India the pollution is a big big concern for all of us so uh, there is out of almost like 40 50 percent is what we are investing in sustainability for a cleaner tomorrow so that is the almost 100 crores is for sustainability out of this 200 crores what product we expect from this after this expansion and what will be the application of the product sir so product majorly the product line remains the same the only change is uh, there is a segment where we are not present that is 170 180 gsm so our portfolio will increase that segment is a value-added product in terms of it goes in the uh, packaging grades it goes into the food grade packaging because this segment is growing and I think with this we are going to embark our journey in this segment and maybe then if we are successful we'll talk about more packaging options it's purely packaging grade pay. yeah that is uh, up to GSM what up to 180 GSM yeah we're starting from so you can see uh, with this the capability of the uh, machine will be producing 54 to 180 GSM which itself is a great achievement okay, this, this uh, the product will be based on the virgin fibers or this is a, you are using the recycled fibers sir? Uh, Trident is using virgin fiber we are using wheat straw as a major uh, raw material and uh, so it is a virgin and 100 percent uh, fiber which is wheat straw and some part is wood which we all also produce online uh, in-house See, as you know the, the paper waste paper pay prices are in negative yeah why should they uh, try to not take advantage of uh, uh, this uh, negative pricing sir our USP is wheat straw so maybe at this point of time it may look very lucrative to go for waste paper but uh, I think uh, our USP and our strength is wheat straw and we are going to continue with that in your um, ongoing uh, this uh, rebuild process what will you going to change and uh, after change what quality will be changed so uh, this rebuild has one major uh, that um, I can say heart of a machine is head box maybe a set of dryers and calendar so we are going to change our head box we are going to change our calendar and we are going to add dryers so these all three major equipments are responsible for the quality of a paper so I think we look forward for a much much better quality offering to the customer with this rebuild See, increasing production is a good but maintaining the raw material stock is a business nightmare yeah how do you make a balance between from production to supply so I think uh, you are right raw material availability is a challenge not only availability the cost is also a challenge currently as you mentioned it has slowed down but I will not say it slow down but in the current market situation the realizations in the market have gone down by almost 12 to 15 percent 
and the cost of raw material has gone up by 15 to 20 percent so this is a situation but all times are there so there are challenging times but we have to work on our internal costs we have to work on innovation we have to work on technology how we can uh, compete with the global partners what growth you do you see in packaging rates sir we are not in packaging rate but what we see it should be approximately 20 to 30 percent what we have heard from the industry but uh, in writing printing it's in the single digit now and even copier which is growing double digits that is also under pressure after the imports coming into India but it is fine uh, the, the quality uh, has improved since imports have come into India and Indian consumer is a beneficiary of that and we support that many international companies like APPM nine dragons are looking to set up a big plants in India they're finding their lands how do you see the uh, international competition see these are very big plants sir I told India has to cope up they have to be leaner they have to involve uh, experts they have to reduce the cost they have to improve the quality so but or at the same time India is a very peculiar market it's a diversified market we are we have almost 30 states 26 27 states and every state had its own culture buying patterns diversity so that diversity is a big challenge if the the international companies can understand that and uh, it is good for Indian uh, customers so we are happy for that competition is a good for the industry it is always good for industry it is healthy competition is always good for industry until and unless somebody wants to uh, do unhealthy competition that is not right and I think uh, we are a very matured industry and a country so that is not going to happen many writing printing plants are saying that uh, the cheap imports is hampering their production what I have used sir on this cheap, yes. cheap imports yes there have been uh, cheap imports right maybe right or wrong word but uh, we are not sure about what are the dynamics which has led to all these things so but this is the truth for uh, today and uh, we cannot control them what they are doing but we need to work on what we can do so we are very positive when we always see this as an opportunity to improve and we are all geared up to improve new product sir Please share the details. Yes, we have uh, launched two products yesterday. Our chairman, Mr. Rajendra Gupta, was there to launch the product. We have launched one product is in the wedding car segment. So we have got we did test marketing in Delhi and CR region, and we have got very very good response. So uh, customers have liked the quality, consistency, and also the service level, which we always try to give them the world class quality in service. And second product is the carry bag paper. After the maybe the changes the government has suggested for the plastic use uh, which may have not Im been implemented 100% but we see a good market for carry bag paper in India so we try to enter the segment and we are uh, improving upon our product and then we will further uh, 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 go pan India now uh, the wedding card basically it starts from 110 GSM and goes up to 150 GSM and uh, all uh, major customers in Delhi NCR have given us a go ahead to use this paper and in case of carry back paper we are producing in 100 100 500 10 gsm uh, for uh, carry bag it is 30 plus which is the min minimum requirement and we are meeting that requirements liquid packaging packaging has a growing market in coming time and uh, but liquid packaging is very tough for the paper industry is there any research going on on the liquid packaging from the behalf of Trident? Uh, not yet. As, as we told, uh, we are not into packaging, but we are also exploring opportunities where we should move ahead. But right now, we have not done any work on that. But uh, hopefully, maybe in future, change. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you so much.